I'm Dr. Nujan Kazimi, and I'm a neurosurgeon at UAMS. I always try to maximize the non-surgical treatment of my patients before I offer them surgery. And if that includes having muscle strengthening exercises through physical therapy, uh, and, and having the patients have interventional pain procedures such as injections which target a region of pain, for example, that generated by a nerve that's being compressed, or very judicious use of med medication, then I maximize the, their non-operative treatment. But once both the patient and I are at the stage we, where we understand that there is no further benefit from non-operative treatment, then I discuss with them what the benefits of surgery would be. And if it is something that both of us have arrived to comfortably and we have the same level of expectation, then we institute a treatment plan and we execute it. When we decide to operate on these patients, we take into account the degree of the deformity and the correction that we can achieve. So in, in that population, uh, it is a, a particular type of treatment that, that we uh, administer to these patients depending on the, the, the severity and the type of scoliosis that they have. Some of the patients that we see have neuromuscular conditions and their scoliosis results as their ability, as inability for their muscles to correct their spine and so their deformity is often very severe and, and we correct that through surgery. Nowadays, uh, one of the surgical treatment for scoliosis and spinal imbalance has dramatically improved. So whereas in the past, uh, these conditions were surgically treated with large incisions, with gross muscle dissection, with lots of blood loss, and many days to weeks of stay either in the intensive care unit in a hospital or in hospital in general, things have thankfully changed for the better. So we now have minimally invasive approaches to the spine, which is what I've been extensively trained in through my residency and my fellowship. So for example, one of the treatments that I offer is minimally invasive spine surgery through a lateral approach. And that is making a small incision in the side of the patient in order to get to the spine. And that has many advantages because firstly, despite a small incision, it's a limited dissection, plane of dissection, to get to the spine. There's minimal blood loss. I don't have to dissect muscles and tendons and tissue, which in and of themselves can create pain when disrupted. And ultimately, I think that my results are better, actually, despite the fact that I use a more minimally invasive approach to the spine. I was challenged by the science behind medicine and I'm still challenged by it. And at the end of the day, uh, even though it sounds so cliche, I really derive so much enjoyment and pleasure out of seeing my patients do well.